So, uh, we've shown you the Mackay style coil, um, the Paul's Nun style coil, and uh, when we talk about the Paul's Nun style, what we're really, I mean, there's two ways to look like a dork in the mountains. You, number one, the number one way, without a doubt, is to get a pair of those zippered pants that turn into shorts. Get, get yourself a pair of those. That'd be like, you know, whatever, getting the uh, pocket protector for your pen. Um, and then, of course, the other one is Paul's non-style. Uh, let's, before we do anything, though, let's do a quick review of the Mackay style. And then a uh, quick review of Paul's non-style, uh, demonstrated by A. Soul. LB Soul, that is. And then uh, I'll show you the butterfly coil. Okay, Jim, this is going to get you, and you know what, then you know what to do with, right? Okay, take a rope like this, put your hand like this, get the first coil started, drop it, there we go. Now it's a two stage coil, once, twice, see that? Twice, right? One, two. Man, you should be an aerobics one, instructor or something. One. Two. One foot, Jim. One foot hopping up and down, Jim. Well, give us some more. Give us some more. Okay, Jim, now speed rope it. The win a mountain guide rodeo doing this. You getting tired or what? Nothing up my sleeve. That's a bad way, huh? What a ham. What a ham. Sure has taken you a long time. I wasn't built in a day. Now we'll show you a speed climb. I'll do this thing. I'll show you how to do it. This do it faster. One stage. I, I, I think there's a way to do this, a one stage continuous process, isn't there? I think so. Well, that's not the point. Looks, we're going for it here, guys. Gabby's gonna show you his method. It's how you really. I don't really recommend it, but uh, this is what you call the uh, the brute force and ignorance method. Bruce force and ignorance. No. Uh oh, oh, helicopter's coming. That's rope's all. on the ground. That's Quick, all coil that rope. Coil that rope. Okay. Okay, one advantage of this coil is that in the end, the end product of it, you can turn it into a backpack and be able to move around with it. So that's that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big thing. So first thing we got to do is we got to find both ends of the rope, right? Then let's take maybe one, one and a half, two handfuls sort of thing, and then. And then, let's just start lap coiling these. So one on one side, one on the other side. Next side, just set them. There we go. One. So you see what I'm doing here? This is where it gets the name butterfly, is that it's one on one. Okay, next, next one will go on the other side of my hand. Next one is on this side. And so on and so forth until we get to the end. Everything's pretty much the same at that point. <clears throat> okay, this is where it gets tricky. Now we're down to the end of our rope. Got our butterfly coils. We want to wrap this end here and overlap itself. So you see how it goes over top and work ourselves, work our way up to the top. So man, I just go, <clears throat> keep them nice and tight. I take the end, 
and I push it through the center comes out the other side I take my two ends here and I cinch this off so it won't come apart by taking the ends and going through the loop that I pushed through the center there we go see Now, making it into a backpack. So I take this end here, see? Then take these coils and I wrap it around so it's attached. And then I do a clove hitch here. Take these if I want. If they're in the way, I can just wrap them around a couple of times. There. Now I can carry the rope, do some climbing, and then when I need to pull the rope out again, I have it with me. I don't need to carry an extra pack or stick it in anything. 